We all think that the meaning of life is complicated and it's easy to see why. From the moment that we're old enough to ask questions, we're taught that the meaning of life is, is some, some deep, elusive mystery that, that only, only the most enlightened can understand. We spend so much of our time overthinking it and, and debating what it all means, wondering if we're on the right track or, or if there's something that we're missing. But the truth is, the meaning of life is not complicated. It's simple. In fact, it's so simple that we often overlook it. Welcome back to another episode of Sweat Talk. My name is Chad. One of the reasons why it's so complicated or it seems so hard to understand the meaning of life is because of the lies that we're constantly fed by society. We're taught that, that meaning is, is tied to material success. We're told to chase the next big flashy thing, the faster car, the bigger house, or the next biggest and best whatever it is. It's all about consuming more and, and showing off and acquiring more stuff. And the problem with that way of thinking is no matter how much stuff we acquire, no matter how much we achieve, it'll never feel like enough. We're also led to believe that we, we earn our worth through, through monetary ways, through, through monetary gifts or monetary donations. And there's definitely value in, in giving. In fact, I think, I think giving is important. I think giving is probably the most important thing we can do for another person. But the idea that, that it has to be monetary leaves us feeling that, that our worth is, is solely tied to, to our financial status. If we don't have money to give, does that mean that our life doesn't have meaning? And the truth is that the meaning of life has little to do with, with the size of your bank account or those material goods that you're able to accumulate over the course of your life. And it's, uh, it's about something much, much deeper. Let's imagine for a minute that money didn't exist. Let's take away that, that car and those, those luxury homes and that, that luxury vacation that people see as, as status. What would be left? If you took that away, what would give your life meaning? Because at its core, the purpose of life isn't, isn't about what you have. It's about what you share. And what we're here to share goes far beyond any of those monetary gifts. Because I believe that we are here to share love, support, and kindness. I believe that we are here to, to offer value to others. And just as importantly, offer value to ourselves. To me, that's what gives life meaning. Each of us have a different path in life and our experiences and, and talents, they, they vary widely. And yet beneath all of those differences, there's a common thread that we all have. There's a common thread that connects all of us. We are, we are, we're all here for the same thing and we are all here for the same reason. And that reason is to connect, contribute, and create. When you strip everything else down, life, life just comes down to, to three key things or three simple purposes. Number one is to love. Love is the foundation of our human existence. It's what drives us to, to build relationships and nurture our family and care for others. And without love, life loses its meaning. Hello. Number two is to create and contribute, whether it's, whether it's through art, innovation, teaching, or simply helping somebody else, we, we all have the ability to create something meaningful. Our purpose is to use our talents to, to leave the world in a better place than we found it. And number three is to build a legacy. And this doesn't mean becoming wealthy or, or famous. It means to create something, something that, that outlives you, whether it's the values that you pass on to your children, the kindness that you show to others, or, or the, the impact that you leave in your community. Your success in life is, is tied to one simple question. What value do you bring to others? And this question is not about money. It's about the problems you solve and, the, and the, the, the needs that you meet and the joy that you bring to the people around you. You have the ability to add value to another person's life. If you think about it, why do people pay for goods and services? It's because they see value in them. A doctor and a plumber, they both, they both provide valuable services, but their contributions are completely different. A doctor saves lives. A plumber ensures that, that we have clean running water and a functioning home. And both of those are essential and both of them bring value. Both 
provide meaning for other people's lives. And whether you're, you're working, you're parenting, or you're being a friend, the value that you provide determines the impact that you're going to have on the world. And if you want to find the meaning of life, start with gratitude. When we, fall, when, we, when we focus on what we don't have, we fall into a cycle of dissatisfaction. We're constantly chasing more, more, more money, more success, more recognition. But when we take a step back and, and show gratitude for what we already have, everything changes. Gratitude allows us to, to, to realize the abundance that we have in our lives. And it will be able to shift our perspective from, from lack to fulfillment. It will help us realize all of the, all of the love, the, the resources, and the opportunities that we already have in our lives. And here is the most powerful part. Gratitude doesn't just make you feel better. It also helps you bring more value to the world. When you are thankful for what you already have, you're going to be more likely to share it with others. You're more likely to build connection and, and create meaningful change. Think about legacy for a minute. Legacy isn't about leaving behind wealth or, or material possessions. It's about the impact that you make. It's about how, how you'll be remembered by, by those whose, whose lives you've, you've touched. What kind of legacy are you leaving behind? What kind of legacy are you building? Are you teaching your children to be kind, compassionate, and resilient? Are you helping others grow and succeed? Are you creating something that will inspire our future generations? In your legacy, it doesn't have to be something grand or, 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 or public. It just needs to be meaningful. And the best way to start building it is to focus on the value that you bring today. There's a delicate balance in, in, in life between giving and receiving, but both are essential. If you spend your entire life giving to others and, and you don't take time for yourself, you're gonna burn out. But on the other hand, if you focus on only receiving, you're going to, be, you're going to miss out on all of the joy and fulfillment that comes from helping others. Finding meaning in life requires you to value both sides. Value yourself enough to, to, to meet your own needs and value others enough to contribute to their own well-being but here's the beautiful part. The meaning of life is, is simple because it's universal. And it, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, or what you believe in. At its core, the purpose is, is the same for all of us. To love, to contribute, to create a legacy. And when you realize, you'll understand that it's not about, it's not about complexities or, or the distractions. It's about everyday small intentional actions that we take that contribute to ourselves and others. And if you're wondering how to apply this in, in your life, here's a couple of steps to help you along the way. Number one is focus on relationships. Spend time with the, with the people who matter the most and show them love, appreciation, and support. Number two is use your talents. Think about what you're good at and how you can use those talents to help others. Number three is practice gratitude. Start each day by reflecting on what you're thankful for and let that, let that gratitude guide your actions. Number four is look for opportunities to give. When it's helping a neighbor or mentoring a colleague or, or, or volunteering in your, your community, every single act of giving adds to your own value. It adds to your own meaning of life. Number five is to take care of yourself. Because remember there's that old saying, you cannot pour from an empty cup. You cannot help if you don't have oxygen on first. So make time for, for rest, personal care, and, and personal growth. The meaning of life isn't, it's, it's not complicated and, and it's, it's not hidden somewhere. It's not, it's not reserved for, for the wise or the lucky. It's, it's simple. It's, it's nothing more than love, gratitude, and value. It's connection and that legacy that you leave behind. When you can finally embrace these truths, you, you'll find that life isn't just meaningful. It's extraordinary. And the best part, you already have everything you need to live it. If you made it this far, do me a favor and go in the comments section and type that word meaning. Just that one word, meaning. We all have meaning. And in the end, our meaning is, our meaning of life is, is essentially the same at its core. By leaving that word, it, it helps the channel by appeasing the YouTube algorithm so that this content can get out to, to, to find more people. If you've stuck around this long, I appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Also, by leaving that word meaning, it, it shows me who's with me. I know who, who is actually here and who still has an attention span long enough to watch a 10 or 15 minute video. 
I'm sure as you guys can see, I'm losing sunlight here, so I gotta cut it. I wanna thank you guys for showing up. I hope you guys are showing up for yourselves. I hope you understand that I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I do my best to reply in the comments section. By leaving that, that one word, it, it allows me the opportunity to say thank you for those of you guys who have made it this far. And honestly, thank you oftentimes is, is the only thing that I have time to, to reply with. I appreciate you guys. I want you to feel heard. I want you to know that I heard you. With that said, I want to thank you for showing up. I hope you guys are showing up for yourselves. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.